Hey, it's Holly doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be talking about Polyville. Yes, I know. I love Polyville. However, we are going to be talking about some variations of Polyville. There are a lot of variations throughout the vintage Poly Pocket era from 89 through 97. Um, but there's also a lot of variations in Polyville. Um, I'm going to be showing you a few today, uh, but just to give you an example, here's two that are basically the same set, but very different in terms of how they're painted. Um, but there are some that are a little bit more minor and some like that one that are quite extreme. So I'm going to show you a few that I have and we're going to compare some of the differences and I'll let you know which ones I like best. So anyway, can't wait to get started with that. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, the first variation I'm going to be showing you today is the 1993 toy shop. There's actually three variations of this. Technically, there's two of this one. It has a bit of a different label on the front that shows teddy bears. This is the one I have. I do not have the other one yet, but I do have the holiday toy shop. So these are two unique variations of these, the 1993 Polyville toy shop. I'm going to show you my sets the way that I typically do, moving from top to bottom and then showing you what figures come with each set. Now, this holiday toy shop, I'm breaking my own rule a little bit because I actually don't have a complete set of this one yet, but because I wanted to show you some variations today, I'm going to show you what I do have. However, I am, I am missing a few figures from the holiday one. Okay, so let's start out with the original toy shop. So. Super cute set. On the outside, there is a little spinning <laughs> airplane toy, a slide, so almost like they have a little playground out front. Really beautiful yellow roof tiles. Again, that cute toy sign and a nice window in front. In the window, if you can see that, there's a teddy bear in the window. What else is in there? A sailboat and I can't quite tell what the last thing is but I would say it's probably a ping pong paddle in there um, but just like when you're window shopping as a kid it's really cute that they added that detail here's what the other sides of this look like super cute um, and again that classic Polyville pink sidewalk up front I'm going to open it up this does not open sometimes on some of the Polyville sets there's a second piece in the roof that opens but not on this one so inside, we'll go, again go from top to bottom. Up top, there appears to be some shelves, a little arcade machine over here. This looks like what I would say is a train set, a rocking horse that you can put a figure in. And on the side, there is a dollhouse that folds out. So cute! Then there are uh, double stairs, uh, so a double staircase down to the main level. Behind, this is the cash wrap, there is a sticker that shows some additional toys on a shelf. I love when they use stickers in these because it really just adds to the color palette um, and really brightens up this play sets. But there is a kite here, a baseball set, a little ship, and of course, cash register and then at the bottom here there are some toys that are again kind of along the window skateboard a skipping rope these look like rollerblades to me i would say and a xylophone and i guess that is a boomerang cute little doormat there but all in all a very simple set so let's compare this now to the holiday version so the holiday version um I have a hard time with this set just specifically because I think I'm a bit of a Polyville purist in the sense that I really like the pink sidewalk and this one has a red sidewalk and I get why they did it but <laughs> it's always bothered me. Um, a neat thing that they've done with the paint on this set and I hope you can see this on the camera is there is a bit of white flecking on the sidewalk and also on the roof tiles. When I first pulled it out, I thought maybe that there was some damage to it, but it's actually supposed to look like a snow effect. You can probably see it quite well there. Um, but all in all, it is the same set. It's made from the same mold, just with different colors. So it is more of a red and green. On the side, there are Christmas lights, red roof tiles all around. 
a candy cane and some Christmas lights on the front and some more Christmas lights on the side. Um, inside the window, it's the same toys because it is the same mold. So I can see the bear and the sailboat. And again, what I think is a ping pong paddle and ball, but a red slide in this case, a yellow airplane. And there are little green footprints leading to the front door, which is a cute detail. So let's open this one up. So this one's decorated just a little bit differently. Um, the stickers are different inside. So uh, some of the first things that I notice up top is that there are Christmas trees along the back on this. Um, again, I'm not sure what the idea of this was. I think it's just supposed to be storage. Yellow um, video game machine, arcade machine. This one doesn't have any painted details on it, which is interesting because the other one did. Uh, again, same thing here, the train table, yellow, no painted details. The rocking horse does have a little bit of detail on it, but it's very minor. And the dollhouse, unfortunately, my dollhouse has a bit of a broken door on it. Um, green flooring here. And then downstairs, uh, again, the stairs in this one are green with a purple sort of runner on them. Same toys, so all of that stuff in the mold is the same. Skateboard, baseball bat, rollerblades, all of that. But a green cash register, and then the sticker on the back is a bit more Christmas themed. Sorry, I know that's really hard to see, but um, there's a teddy bear wearing a Santa hat. There's a Christmas train. There is a little uh, beach ball in there. It's so cute. Um, so again, I maybe I just have feelings about this one because it's not complete and I have a, a bit of a damaged one. I got this in a large lot, um, so I didn't expect everything to be complete. Um, however, I do really just like how happy the original one is, the color palette, those bright pastels. I like that they painted some of these details. I really appreciated that. It really just makes them pop. So if I had to pick between these two variants for the 1993 toy shop, my clear winner is the original. I love it. I think it's perfect. And hopefully I will get a complete version of this sometime. But for now, those are the two that I have. I'm going to show you what pieces they came with. So let's go back to the original one. The original one came with just two figures. It came with Polly and she's got her hair in a ponytail. She's holding a little doll in a pink outfit and she's wearing a blue dress and blue shoes. This is a really cute Polly and I loved when they started moving away from just the original perm hair Polly and started giving her different hairstyles. So that is a really super cute Polly. The other figure that came with the set is her friend Mimi. And Mimi is wearing a purple dress and yellow shoes. Um, pretty standard looking. There's nothing super fancy about her, but this one's in great shape. I'm quite happy with that. But just two figures that came with the original set. So for the holiday one, it did come with a lot more figures, but again, I do not have all of them. There are technically six figures that are supposed to come with this set. I have three out of the six. So first is Polly. And um, again, it's the same Polly. She's just wearing a red outfit and her doll is dressed in green. So if I compare those two side by side for you, you can see that they really are the same. They're just painted differently. So that is the first figure that I have. The second one, her name is Daria, but she is the same as Mimi. She again is just wearing a green outfit and red shoes, so just Christmas colors. And her hair is a little bit of a lighter shade, but all in all, really it's the same figure. And then the last figure I have for this one is Mrs. Claus. If you've seen my video on the Funtime Clock, um, this is basically the same figure that's in the Funtime Clock but she is painted to look like Mrs. Claus. There is a Santa that comes with the set, um, which I do not have. There's also a reindeer and a sleigh are the other two pieces that I'm missing. So that's a lot of pieces for realistically what's a really tiny set. Um, so I can see how those would go missing quite quickly. 
but those are the three that I have. So again, if I had to pick between these two sets, I would say for me that this is my favorite one. Okay, the next variation I'm going to be showing you is the 1993 Pet Shop. This one is a really cute and simple but iconic Polyville set. Um, these variations are almost identical. They just have different stickers on them. Um, so what I mean by that is if you look at the front, you will see that one says pets and the other one just has a picture of pets. This is really common in a lot of the Polyville variations. Some of them will actually have a word and some will just have a photo. Um, photo is not the word, picture, <laughs> illustration on them. Um, but uh, to give you some examples off the top of my head, supermarket, uh, children's hospital, there's a few that are like this. So that's what's really, at the end of the day, different here. Uh, sometimes the colors are just a little bit different and I would just say that that's just related to age because they really do look otherwise identical. I'm going to open them up and show you from inside what's on inside that's a little bit different. Um, again, we just have different stickers in these two sets. All of the plastics, as you can see, are the same color. Um, all of the things that are painted are painted the same color but we do have a few differences in some of the stickers here and on the back. So I'm gonna show you the one that has the pets, uh, the illustration of the pets on the front first. So upstairs, again, we've got a little pet wash station. So this is like a grooming station with a little bath and some brushes and shampoos. This I believe is for, I wanna say like animals to sit in. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's got it. It has what looks like hay in it. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put an animal in here or if this is in theory for like a guinea pig or something, but it doesn't come with one. So um, I'm not fully sure what that's supposed to be. There's a parrot over here in the corner and he's just uh, stable. He's fixed to the playset. Some pet dishes there and a little mat to wipe their shoes. Here is one of the stickers. This one has a little bit of damage to it, but it is pink and it has some paw prints on it. And then down the stairs, we have the cash wrap and behind that there are some bird houses for sale in there. Then there is a hatch with a rabbit inside. Some more accessories, you know, um, like a little cat dog bed. And then the sticker at the back is a bit different here. Um, just to describe it to you first, there is a fish tank, what looks to be pet food, some leashes, and some other accessories in there. So um, this is going to look a little bit different on the other one. And then out front here, there is a pink dog house. And that's about it. Not a ton going on in here. Um, it's kind of interesting because there's a little bit of wasted space here. The way the compact closes, there is an open space here, which I found kind of an interesting choice. Okay, so to show you the other one, again, everything kind of looks the same. We just have some different stickers. All of the colors here are the same. The hatch is the same. All of the paint is the same. It's just a different set of stickers. So this one has a blue mat here. There's no paw prints on this one. And at the back here uh, on this sticker, again, just to describe it to you first, there is a fish tank, there's some leashes, there's a, what looks to be a bird cage and a hamster cage, but it's just a very different looking sticker compared to the other one. So aside from that, these are really identical. Um, there's nothing majorly different about them other than the stickers that they've used, which is interesting because again, some of the other ones do have quite a few differences. And in terms of the figures that came with this set, both of them are the same. So first up is Polly. Polly appears to work at the pet store because she has a brush in her hand. So it looks like she is in the middle of grooming. She appears to also have an apron on, which would make sense to keep herself clean while she's grooming pets. But that is the Polly figure that comes with the pet shop. Next up is her friend Midge. So again, these are the same in both of the variations. So Midge is wearing a mint dress. She's got these sort of pinkish purple shoes and her signature orange 
bob. And then this set also comes with two pets. So it comes with a cat and a dog. Um, <laughs> the cat's kind of funny looking. I hope you can see how strange these eyes are. They're very strange. Um, and the dog, again, I'm just trying to get this focused for you. Kind of, kind of a strange dog. Um, there's a lot of sets that come with small animals like this, but um, I find these ones are just a little funny looking compared to the other ones. Maybe it's just the shape of them, um, but they, they've always kind of struck me as a bit odd. However, that's what the set comes with, complete with all four of those figures. All right, the next one I'm going to be showing you is the 1993 Cozy Cottage. I feel like this is um, probably the most common Polyville set. I feel like if you bought a box set, it came with it. It was just the one that everyone had. It's a very small and very simple set, but these two variations are painted really differently, which is interesting. Um, and both of them always had kind of a strange style choice that I didn't quite understand. I'll explain that in a moment. But I'm going to start with the one that I had as a kid, which is this one on the left, and then I will show you the variation afterward. So um, Cozy Cottage is a really cute little playset. This one is a white house with a pink tiled roof, a bit of a teal colored chimney with a little yellow top and yellow window frames all around, a little cover over the door, and there is a yellow picketed fence. There's a beautiful little front yard that has flowers along the pathway there. The pathway is sort of a lavender color, a nice blue door on the front, a mailbox. The mailbox is blue and the mail is white there, and the door does open. I'm always afraid I'm going to break this when I do this, so bear with me. I, do, like, I really don't want to break that. There we go. <laughs> um, but the door does move, and again, that classic pink Polyville sidewalk. Something that I've always kind of found interesting about this set is that there is pavement down one side um, without really any real indication why and then grass on this side. And I always felt like it would look more cohesive if it just had the grass all the way across, but both of the sets I'm gonna show you today have this and I'm not totally sure what that's about. Um, another detail that's kind of cute about this is that there are bricks on the side so you can see a little bit of texture across it and that continues on the front and on the other side as well. So let's open this one up. So inside, this is a slumber party scene. Upstairs, we have a dresser with a mirror. There is a bed, and then there are two sleeping bags. On the floor appears to be a Walkman, which is so cute. Um, two mugs, so I presume they're drinking some hot chocolate. They've got a book or magazine open, and oh, there's a third mug actually. And there is, um, a boom box up here or a tape player and it's on top of a little bit of a table. Down the stairs, the stairs are sort of a periwinkle color with a lavender runner down them. Um, here we have a living area so there is a small couch that's overlooking the TV there. We've got a cat asleep on a pink rug, a little teal telephone in the corner here and at the back there is for some reason tucked in the corner a fireplace. Um, on the fireplace, there is uh, some kind of pottery and a picture frame up on the mantle. And then on the back, we have some wallpaper. There's a mirror and a piece of art there, but a pretty simple set. So let's compare this to the variation. So here is the variation set. I had never seen this before. I got it the other day and um, Wow, it's bright. It is pink on the sides. And again, it's the same mold. So all of those details are there, but pink with white windows. The roof is a bit of a darker shade of pink. Um, and this is not sun damaged. That's 
the accurate color, so it is quite a bit darker. There is a blue, a much darker blue chimney with, again, a yellow top, so that was pretty consistent, but the yellow on this is more golden and this one is more pastel. And then on the front, we also have uh, the pink covering over the door, but the door happens to be yellow, and in the case of the other one, it was blue. You can see that the fence is white on this one and we also have a different colored mailbox. The mail is a bit yellow and on this one it was blue with uh, white mail. So just a little bit different there. But <laughs> what really bothers me about this variation is they've continued the grass over and in this one the pavement instead of being sort of that lavender color it's quite a bright powdery blue but they've carried the color all the way back. And on this one, they didn't. Um, and I don't know that I dislike the fact that they carried it back. I, I do dislike that it's not consistent um, between the two sets. But I feel like on this one, you could at least say that maybe this were like a driveway or somewhere they'd park their bike. On this one, it just looks like water. <laughs> so it looks like you step out of your house into a river. It's a bit strange. Um, so I think that's a bit of a strange color choice. And again, if they had just carried it across with this color, I think it would have made a lot more sense. But again, here's me being critical of toy designers. I did not design, design these toys. Um, and uh, I'm sure that they had good reasons for their choices. So let's look at this one inside. Um, again, very similar. It has different stickers on the back of the lower floor, but there is just a bit of different color choices. So you can see that there is actually, hopefully you can see this, there's a lot of little gold details in here. The Walkman's painted gold. The edges of the sleeping bags, what I presume is supposed to be the zippers are gold the boom box and the cabinet here both have gold trim and the phone is also gold so if we compare that to the other one it was um, silver but just didn't pop quite as much so that's quite interesting the other thing that's quite different is they've reversed the yellow and the white so in the original one, the floor was yellow and the pillows were white, which I think makes a lot more sense than the pillows being yellow and the floor being white. Um, but again, I'm sure they had reasons for that. The two mugs on the left are the same color, but the one over here is a light pink instead of a mint color. And if you notice, everything that is pink over here is mint over here. So they've just made a few color swaps there. Um, same thing for here with the beds they've used similar colors but they've just kind of swapped them around um, something that i find interesting about this one though is that while the first one i showed you everything had silver trim and this one has gold they did keep silver for the back here so they used both kind of interesting um, down to the bottom, you can see there's quite a different image here. We'll come back to this sticker. The couch is white in this one, and in the other one, it was yellow. Pink throw, teal throw, and again, pink uh, sleeping bag, teal sleeping bag. So they've just done some color swaps. Here we have a yellow mat that the cat's laying on. The cat is roughly the same color, but this one was pink. And the fireplace is in this one painted with gold. So just a few different color changes in there. Now, if we compare the stickers on this one, the variation, it's got a mermaid behind the fireplace and it has a clock. This one had just wallpaper behind the fireplace and then all of the other stuff was over by the stairs. So just a little bit bear with me here, just a little bit different in terms of the stickers, but same kind of idea. So all in all, um, this one's a really interesting variation because it is such a small set, but they made a lot of changes. I, I think I am partial, again, just to the one that I had as a kid. It might just be nostalgia, but I feel like for me, having white pillows makes more sense. Um, to me, it just looks a little bit more 
normal. Um, this is really beautiful and it really pops, but some of the color choices to me are just a little bit, I don't know, maybe they're just too much for me. I really do enjoy the original one. Now, the interesting thing is this variation, unlike the pet shop, there are different figures. The, well, there's, the figures are the same, but they're painted differently. So in the first one that I showed you here, this version of Cozy Cottage, the two figures that come with each set are Polly and Midge. Polly is wearing uh, white and blue striped pajamas. She's holding a little orange teddy bear. She has her hair um, kind of waved and she has pink shoes or slippers on. And then Midge is wearing white and lavender polka dotted pajamas. She has a teal slipper or shoe and her hair is orange. So these are the two that came with this set. So coming over to the variation set, the figures are the same, but they're painted differently. So in this one, Polly is wearing white pajamas with a pink stripe and her teddy bear is sort of a grayish brown. If we compare that to the other one, um, it's quite a difference. Again, this is the first one that I showed you. I kind of prefer these colors. I think they pop a little bit better, um, but this is the one that comes with the variation. And then the second one again is Midge. In this case, um, some of the boxes said Alice for her, but she, instead of having orange hair, she has dark brown hair. She's wearing purple pajamas with white polka dots, pink shoes or slippers. And so just a bit of a different paint job for her. Um, I actually don't mind this one. I think they both look really great. Um, I do prefer the, uh, the original Polly that had the orange teddy bear, but between these two, I think they both look great. They're both really interesting looking figures. So these were, again, the two figures that came with this variation. So all in all, if I had to choose between these two, I do quite like the original one. I just feel like the color palette just makes a little bit more sense to me. Um, but let me know in the comments, how did you feel about this one? Because it seems, I don't know, just for me, this one's just a bit intense. Okay, the last variation I'm going to be showing you today, and of course there's a lot more, but these are the ones that I have that I wanna show you, um, is the 1994 Grandma's Cottage. Um, this set is another one that I had as a kid. It's, it's really interesting because I find that this variation is super similar to the Cozy Cottage variations that I just showed you in terms of the color choices. And maybe I'm just used to the Polyville sets that I had and maybe other children were more used to uh, the other colors, but very, very similar in terms of the differences that we're going to be seeing here. So we'll start out with the one that I had. This is a white version of Granny's Cottage and it has really sort of nice um, fish scale like shingles on the side. Below is a brick and then the roof is a nice tiled powdered blue. Then there are some other white shingles here and the windows are nice and rounded which is really cute and they have yellow frames, but the windows on the side have white frames. There's a water mill on the side. We'll show you what that does in a moment. Um, and then there is a nice little pond here with two ducks in it. There's a pink duck and a yellow duck. This, I always love this set because of this bridge and how the bridge actually goes up. So you can walk over the water over this little bridge and it just elevates that classic Polyville sidewalk. No door on these. They have a nice little yellow picket fence, which again is consistent with the cozy cottage uh, that I just showed you and that same grass color. However, on this one, now this is 94, the other one was 93. The grass does carry back. So anyway, <laughs> I digress hot pink slash purple front door. And we're gonna open this up and check out the inside. 
All right, so inside upstairs, we've got a bedroom. We have a bed, we have an armoire over here, a nice bay window with a cushion and a book there. So a little reading nook. This is a dresser with a lamp on top and there are some rugs. The rugs are stickers. So this one's floral and this one is, I like to call that a jazzy 90s pattern. It's got some stars and squiggly stuff on it. And then there is a step and this kind of just transitions into the stairs here. Over in the bathroom, there is a really old style toilet that has a chain that you pull to flush it, but the lid does open, which is kind of funny. Um, an interactive toilet and a sink to wash your hands. Then down the stairs, you go into the kitchen. And for some reason, Granny has an industrial kitchen. She has a nice little area to sit and eat, but she has this crazy restaurant grade oven that opens up with a nice clear door. I'll show you what that does in a moment. Um, and then over on the side, a prep area. You can see that she's busy baking. There's a rolling pin and we have, I guess that's supposed to be, I think that's supposed to be a baking mat. I'm not totally sure. Um, it doesn't look like a sink to be honest. A spoon for mixing and a bowl. And then on the side, there's a clock and the clock moves as you move the wheel on the outside. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's the pink hand inside that's moving. So um, really cute set. I'll show you the figures in a moment. We're going to just move over to the variation. So the variation set, again, it's the same mold. It's just very different colors. So instead of having a pink wheel, it has a yellow wheel. The powdered blue for the roof is, I would say, identical, but the chimney here is more of a light sort of pastel yellow versus this one was a pinkish color. The front windows are white instead of yellow and the side windows are pink instead of white. In terms of the colors that are used on the ground, the grass is a really similar color. The water is a similar color, but the stonework on this one matches the stonework of the sides. And to be fair, <laughs> if you turn it over, it's made out of, this one was made out of white plastic and this one was made out of that purple plastic. So they've really just not painted those areas. Um, they also decided not to paint or um, use different plastic on the fence. So the fence itself is the same pink color. However, they did use a pink plastic, uh, or sorry, a white plastic on the side of this one. And this one was actually a yellow plastic. So a little bit of a difference there because this one is actually, that's paint. Um, the door color is the same. So that's pretty consistent. Let's open it up and see what the changes are like inside. So um, I find that a lot of the times it's just that they use different plastics for things. In this case, we have same stickers. We have uh, the same details inside. In fact, just looking at these two side by side, most of it is painted exactly the same. We've got the lampshade is this pink color, same with the bedspread. We've got a teal cushion and a teal book at the back, same stickers. They've painted this a little different. This is paint, this part is yellow and this part is pink, but different plastics in the bathroom. So this bathroom has a white sink and a white toilet versus this has a yellow sink and yellow toilet. The toilet lid on this one is yellow and the toilet lid on this one was pink. So just, just a little bit of a different uh, choice around these two rooms in terms of the plastics they used. However, the bedroom furniture and all of the stickers are identical. So moving downstairs, um, same kind of thing. This is made out of the yellow plastic and this one's made out of white for the kitchen. This one was pink and this one was yellow. Just a few minor color changes here. All the paint on stuff though is basically the same. Teal here for the spoon and the mat, the rolling pin and the baking that's happening over here. These are all the same colors. We just see a little bit of variation on the table. 
And I think that's because in this one, the tablecloth is white, so they couldn't make the plates and stuff white too. It would have blended in. Whereas on this one, the tablecloth was yellow, so they were able to make the plates white. But other than that, it's actually really, really similar. And if you look at the stickers behind the kitchen, it is the same sticker too. So this one got basically all the same stuff, just the plastics that were used were slightly different colors. Other than that, they are nearly identical. This one obviously has the same mechanism with the clock too, as that was kind of one of the main gimmicks of this set. But this set came with three pieces with it and they are pretty consistent across both of the variations. Both of the variations come with the same poly. So you can see that they are the same. She's wearing a white and sort of teal striped apron. She has a spoon in her hand. She's got her hair up, but it's the same poly figure. He also comes with, uh, one of them is referred to as Granny Rose and one is just referred to as Grandma. Um, but the same figure, same dress, same hair, same shoes. So that was consistent as well. The third piece that this came with was a baking tray. And the only difference is the plastics that they made the tray out of. Basically, they made the plastic, uh, the color of the tray is the plastic that the oven was made out of. So the yellow one goes with this one because it's got the yellow oven. And then the pink one goes with this one because it's got the pink oven. So just to give you an idea of how these sets work with the tray, this is super cute. You just open this up and there's a little slot in there that you can fit this into and it just slides in. And in theory, I think if you had two of them, which it, it came with one, but I might be blowing my theory here, I might be wrong. I'm just wondering if you can just get both of them. You can. Look, more efficient baking. It just is very easy to fall out. <laughs> so uh, again, tell me what your favorite one is between these two. Um, I, I do like this one better. And again, maybe it's nostalgia, but I think that this one makes more sense. Um, this one has white rocks, which I think make a little bit more sense than pink rocks. Um, I like that they took the time to paint the fence on this one, because that is indeed paint and not just the color of the plastic. Um, you know, the pink one, it, I feel like the pink fence just kind of blends in with the rest of the set and doesn't really pop the way that this one does. So I, I do like this one um, better, but again, maybe I'm just being partial to it because I'm nostalgic, um, but this would be my vote if I had to pick between the two. So tell me in the comments, which one did you like better, the white one or pink one?
Okay, so do you agree with me? Do you like the ones that I like? Do you think I'm wrong? Uh, let me know in the comments. I, I think I am partial to the ones that I had as a kid and I think that's just my nostalgic nature, but um, some of the color choices were a little odd on some of them I found and I don't know really why there's so many variations out there. I understand that they were manufactured at different times and for different markets, um, but I, part of me is just like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, Anyway, uh, who knows? Maybe mine was actually the manufactured one later. I don't know. I, I'm not totally up to speed on all that stuff, but let me know in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you think the other ones were better? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, again, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do. It really helps out. And if you're on Instagram, come follow me over on Instagram at Pocket Vintage Toys. That's where I share what video I'm going to be posting next. Um, as I get new stuff in my collection, I like to show that in my Instagram stories. So please come follow along at Pocket Vintage Toys. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.